All right, guys, I've got something unique to show you here. I call it a portable gaming PC console. Yeah, I know. And I think Dell has the answer. So what you just saw or what you're seeing now on screen is called Project UFO. It's from Dell, it's part of Alienware, and it's fully a concept. But this thing feels and plays so well. Yes, this is a Nintendo Switch version of a PC. So that's why I call it a portable gaming PC console, right? And this is not the first time we've seen something like this. Now, Razer had Razer's Edge from 2013. I have a video on that. Definitely go check it out. And that ran Windows 8. And I think that was also kind of early. And this is where Dell has come in with something truly cool and unique. First of all, just from the build and the look of it. I mean, this thing felt really polished, even though they call it a concept. It felt like a finished product. It felt like they could sell it literally tomorrow. Um, now, when you go ahead and you hold uh, you know, Project UFO, it feels like you're holding a bigger Nintendo Switch or eh, like an Atari Lynx, at least in my mind. Uh, you've got control um, inputs on either side. So you've got your trigger buttons, you've got your dual joysticks, uh, Xbox style, which is great. You also have X by X Y B A buttons as well as also the rest of your buttons there. So you've got all your inputs that you need. Now you can go ahead and just put the device down and it's got a built-in kickstand. Like I, they really thought of this as like a full product uh, and you can detach those controllers. The controllers that are magnetic locked in there and you can add it to a bridge and have it as a separate controller out which is pretty cool, works really well. Uh, the control ergonomics, even though it looks big, actually works, trust me. It has to be ergonomic for the size because you're looking at an 11 inch display, but it works. It actually fully works with it connected or not. In terms of specs, they didn't give us anything in terms of specs. All they told us was that it's an 11 inch display and you've got two USB type C ports, one at the very top, one at the bottom. You can connect this to an external monitor and I don't know if that's Thunderbolt or not, I can't give you any uh, details, but it was connected to a monitor and you can play your games, again, off to a monitor if you want to. But think about, like, I just think about like the practical nature of this thing. This thing is really nice, like, to travel with. And in terms of battery life, they didn't say what the battery life was, but they were looking at, you know, they asked me questions like, what would I like for battery life? I was like, look, if this thing can do like five or six hours, man, I'm golden. Um, like that's perfect for me. I mean, that I'm not saying it will, but that's just something I would love to see. Uh, games ran at, I'd say, you know, mid-level uh, settings. Uh, played some Mortal Kombat uh, 11 uh, on this. Uh, some people played uh, some uh, World War Z. Uh, there's also F1. So there were a couple of games to play there that we can actually look at. And you've got this like, you know, game hub, which they talked about some of the things they would like to do with it and some of the things they're working on also with this, where you've got a game hub that, in my mind, I'm thinking you, as long as you turn this thing on, Windows turns on, and as soon as you log in, this pops up because you want to game first. Uh, they mentioned that they would feed in your Steam, uh, your all your game services, right? The Epic Games, you name it, so that uh, your games just show up and you're boom, 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 good to go. That I like. I mean, I just like the concept because in my mind, I would say, hey, look, if I buy this, I'm not buying a gaming laptop. I, I, I get it. Like, I like the ideas of gaming laptops, but I've got a fully powerful rig at home that runs my games. I can run some of my games at AK. I can never do it on my gaming laptop. I want something I can game that's portable. Think about this. I wish I could take this on the flight I took to CES, even though I'm I'm currently at home right now, but when you're watching this, you be at C I'll be at CES. I wish I could take this with me on the flight because I can drop it down, I can game, but it's also a PC, right? Which means that I can still answer emails, do a little things, maybe do some editing. Now, things I love to see in there, you know, try and find a way to put a stylus in, in maybe the controller bridge so that I can use that on the device. It, it's just cool. It really is. Like, I'm excited to see this. There's no one in pricing. Um, you know, if if it's 1500, I'm good. I'm game for this. Uh, I, I just like what I'm seeing right here. Now, they had a few other concepts as well. They had a, a foldable uh, laptop concept, 13 inch, just showed what they had. 
it, well, again, nothing is coming out anytime soon. It's not finalized yet. They also had this dual screen 15 inch, which I really liked. Does, uh, the foldable is an OLED. The dual screen is LCD panels to look really nice. Uh, just the function of using both screens really made a lot of sense to me, especially in a work environment. Uh, that can be more of a stationary workstation. Uh, and then the foldable is more portable. Now, don't take the size of the designs of those two as anything concrete. But for me, I am truly excited about Concept UFO, which I'm just calling uh, portable PC console. If you guys have a word for it, please let me know. But I'm excited for this. I want to see this come out. Uh, and whether it's Dell or any other manufacturer, but I'm liking what Dell is offering right here. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think about Project UFO? Do you think a portable gaming PC console is something you would pick up? Let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, definitely hit the subscribe bell, and always enjoy your entertainment.